Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry, I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been just... I've... <sighs> it's 3.30 in the morning, so sorry. Forgive me if I, uh, like, stutter a bit or just don't say something right. Um, As you can tell by the title, this is... Uh, I'm just going to teach you guys how to switch skins in Fortnite so you can have any skin uh, either released or not released. OG, not OG. Battle Pass, not Battle Pass. Sorry, no uploads recently. I've just been like really busy um, trying to upload more videos, but this is the only one I could really do at the time or right now because it's short and it's short and simple um, and pretty easy to do. So the first just disclaimer, just want to get out of the way. I don't know if Epic condones this. I asked them, I emailed them about it, but they didn't give me a clear answer. I'm not sure why. Um, but I would not recommend taking it much farther than what I show you. What I'm going to show you is um, a way to check for unreleased skins and the skins that you do swap. Um, you're going to be swapping a skin for a different skin with the same character length. Um, so you are going to have to have a skin that has the same character length as the other skin in code so it's not the exact same character length but in code um and this only works in lobby it works for you and other players but if you go into a game it will switch it back to the skin that you switched it with um so you want to search up hsd hxd go to this link here it's a safe site the only thing not safe about it is if you do something wrong you can corrupt your files which is really bad so I just recommend following this pretty well. Uh, you want to scroll down and go to the latest version, download page. And then you want to find your language that you speak or the language that you prefer. Uh, I chose English because I speak English. So you want to go down to here, press download. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. But um, it's going to be a zip file. And you're going to want to bring it to your desktop. And you're going to right click. It's going to say extract here, it's like somewhere right here. It's going to turn into a setup file, or not. It's going to turn, up and turn into a setup um, program. You want to run it, You, I would recommend making it a desktop shortcut, or yeah, um, just so you can launch it faster, easier, you know. Um, you just want to go through all the setup tools and whatnot, and then this will appear wherever you downloaded it. And then you just want to open it up, press file, open. And you're going to want to find your Epic Games folder and then Fortnite, Fortnite game, content, packs. For me, it's in my D drive, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, content, packs. But for most people, I would assume it's in your C drive. Um, and once you're here, wherever it is, you just want to, the top one should say pack chunk 0 windows client.pack. It's a pack file. You want to click on that open you can open it up now from here uh also hxd will be in the description so will this next website i'm going to be going on it will also be in the description um this is a google spreadsheet for all the ids for fortnite or the skins emotes banners everything um they all work on the same like concept so i'll only show you guys the skins and the same concept applies for uh, emotes and all gliders all that except i've never done any i've only done emotes and skins so i know that those at least do only work in lobby so it takes a while to load uh so just be patient with it and once you're here there's going to be the uh id length and name so just go to a skin you want to switch out for a different skin. Let's say you want, um, say you want Skull Trooper. You want to highlight it, Control C or right click copy, whatever you prefer. And then what I like to do is go to your desktop, right click new, and then text document, double click on it. And paste it in here and then Type the name next to it. This is this is all preference. You don't have to do this, but it just for me it makes it easier. Then you want to find a skin with the same length, so 35, 
um and you just want to do the same thing um, just, let's say i want to switch goal for skull um you want to go back here type it in uh save it if you want i do just because it just makes it easier like i said um and just close this and or not close it but you can i'd minimize it just if you want to come back to it you go up to here press search find you want to go back to it copy either or doesn't matter uh paste in here make sure it's in texturing and search direction is all the only thing you should need to change is the search direction to all and then you just press ok it'll search for it it'll find it and notice how the cid and then the first letter of everything else is capitalized now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your second one and you're going to highlight all the way from cid all the way down to right before the dot and e with an accent and then just paste it over there make sure this code over here isn't highlighted because the or isn't darker than the code over here because that means you'll be pasting it on there and all right so now that we've got that we go to back to search find paste it in here search direction keep it on all okay in this scenario this did what i wanted it to do and it brought me directly to the actual goal trooper so sometimes if you go into search find and do this and you keep it on all then it will bring you it will just keep you in the same place it'll keep you to what you just copy and pasted so in this scenario i'd have to do forward to go to it so if i oh it didn't even work when i went to forward it kept me there that's that's good backward <laughs> this is i <laughs> it's never happened to me um but in some cases it will bring it will just keep you there and all you're going to want to do is just switch it to forward and then 99.9% .9 of the time it'll bring you to this one where it's capitalized. Now you want to go back, copy and paste the first one right into it. And now both of them are lowercase, which means you changed it. Also, something I don't see other YouTubers pointing out is sometimes it'll bring me to text down here where this is used, but down here and I'll replace that on accident or I did when I started a long time ago um just to make sure you're in the right place just look up and it should say in parentheses the skin that you're looking at and that just clarifies that you're looking at the correct skin so if this is all you are looking to do then you just press this i'm not going to do it because i don't have either of these skins and i don't care to switch skins if you know, even if i wanted to i just do that for leak skins um you press save it'll say creating backup you can make one if you want it's not necessary um and then you could just close this and run fortnite warning though every two times you change the code so every two times you change the code and then save it close this run fortnite it fortnite will run this like regular check where it verifies the code and then replaces it and makes sure that make sure makes sure that all the code is correct so it'll every two times you save it'll correct your code again so you're gonna have to go back here and replace all the code again and that's why i like to keep it in here or if i just want to change it back myself um so just keep that in mind also if you're looking to find leaked skins you just you got to look through this is a lot of code you just got to look through all of this and just see if you find a name that you don't recognize that's how people find them. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, emotes. Here, I'll show you guys. Emotes are basically the same. If uh, Yeah, you go back and then it, it always has EID in the front of it. Banners. All of, all of it's the same, I'm pretty sure. It's just they say different things. Length. All of it's the same. Make sure you don't change the length of the document. I haven't, like... If I try to press backspace, it'll say it changes the file size and it like warns you. I don't know what it does if you do do that, but it I just wouldn't recommend trying it. It probably just corrupts your files. Also, so this 
as I might have already said, works for only in lobby, but it also works for other people can see it too in lobby. If you go into a game or creative, it will switch back to this. It, the squint, the, the skins will switch back to their originals. If you guys want to see a video on how to make it so it works in game, which is more bannable and I don't condone doing it and I'm not responsible for it. But if you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll decide. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, using it in lobby isn't bannable. So even though Epic was really unclear on the email they sent to me I, when I asked them, they just, their response was really weird. Um, uh, that should be it. If I can think of anything else. Um, no, everything will be in the description and that's pretty much how you change them. Um, it'll also change, the skins will change in the item shop. So, just, uh, be aware that if you see it in an item shop, it's because, um, it's the real skin. Also, if you're looking for a specific skin, say the website doesn't have it, you just go up to here, search, find, get rid of that if you have anything in there, Pro er, quotation marks, capitalize the first one, so say I'm looking for Omega, you just quotation marks around it and capitalize it, search direction all, search for it and then it'll be here, and then right under it is the uh, code for it, and that's pretty much how you find it. Same for say you see the name see the name of a leaked skin should be in here. It's fine. Go to it. If you start getting really good with it, you could start just searching. You could start using this. Just search for it and then replace it with. I don't do this just so I have more of like a. I I know for sure that I am replacing the right stuff so I don't mess up my files. Um. And that's pretty much it emotes and everything works the same as skins where it will go away in game i'm 90 percent sure at least it does for emotes so i would assume it does it for pickaxes gliders and all that good stuff but again if you guys want to see a video on how to do it so it works in game just let me know and i'll make one and uh yeah that should be it uh have a good one you guys